Well, tracking actually doesn't have a negative effect size. It has a very close to zero effect size. Um, and in many ways, that means it doesn't matter whether you track or you don't track, because that's what a zero means when you compare tracking to non-tracking. The problem with tracking is, is two things. Firstly is the expectations it sets for kids. It says to them very clearly that this is where you perform. And certainly in some subjects, and probably mathematics is the best example, quite often what the teachers then do is they only teach material that's relative to that tracking. So even if you develop and become better at doing mathematics, and you may have the ability to go into a higher track, you can't because you haven't done the right amount of subjects, you haven't done the right content area. But the biggest problem with tracking by a million miles is the equity issue. Is, for instance, if you look in th this country here, there is a high probability of African Americans and Hispanics being in the lower track groups. How can you possibly de defend that apartheid in our schools? How can you possibly argue that kids are just Destined in terms of where they're going to succeed in life, depending on the colour of their skin. That's so indefensible. And so when you take that equity issue into account, and then you take, on the other hand, the effect size is close to zero, then I think it's incumbent upon us to find ways where we can reduce those inequity problems. And stopping ability grouping is one of the issues. Now, we have to be careful here. There is a detracking de de movement. There is a group trying to detrack, and it's not showing much effect either. And that, I think, is partly because we then don't come back to attend what really matters, and that is for each individual kid, what is the impact we're having on them? And so that's what I want to come back to. It's about that impact. And one of the problems of the tracking and the ability grouping is it does set expectations which may not be appropriate for many of the students. I am not a fan of tracking because it becomes... People think it's actually solving an educational problem. It's not. It's making the teacher's life easier. And there's nothing wrong with making teacher's life easier. But those teachers who are in a D-track situation, who do have high expectations for all their kids, not only can that be more successful, you don't get the equity problems that you do with tracking. So it's not a straightforward answer. It's not a straightforward problem. But I do think there are some serious problems with the tracking that really make it very hard to defend.